In the circuit in figure 2, the switch A has been closed for a very long time and the switch B has been open for a very long time. That means that A is in steady state. The source is AC, the circuit is in AC steady state. But that is the previous question, question number 2. At t equals 0, this switch opens and this switch closes. Use Laplace methods to find and write, first in the Laplace domain and then part b as a function of time for t after the switches operate. What is the voltage in the capacitor? What is this voltage here? And when you have that, plot that voltage in the capacitor between t equals 0 and t equal half a millisecond. To do that, we need the initial conditions. We need to know what was the current in the inductor at t equals 0 minus before the switch is operated and what was the initial voltage in this capacitor. But we computed those values in question 2 in the previous question of this exam. 1064 amps flowing like that and 2816 volts with this polarity. We can draw the circuit for T greater than zero with the switches operated. This one is open, eliminating the source from the circuit and this closes this one into a short. We're left with this part of the circuit. Let's draw that in the Laplace domain. This is the way the circuit looks right now. This is the 4 ohm resistor over here. This is this 3 ohm resistor and this is this 3 ohm resistor up here. Mm -hmm. This inductor, 10 millihenries, will be represented as an impedance S times L. Like that. Observe that instead of saying I multiply 0 0.01 times S, I prefer to write that as integer numbers for the sake of the calculator. And this impedance is 1 over SC. But using 833 microfarads, that can be written as 1200 divided by S. Again, using integer numbers. What about those initial condition sources? Well, they have the polarities of the initial condition. So this is like that. And this one has this polarity. Same as the initial conditions. The value of this one is L IL naught. This is IL naught and this is L. 1064 I write as 1064 divided by 100 multiplied by 100th of a Henry that is 1064 divided by 10,000 and this one this is VC naught this voltage divided by S but this is 28, 16 divided by 100, so 28, 16 divided by 100, S. And this is the circuit we need to solve. Let me use nodal analysis, m and I'm choosing this as my reference node. This is node number 1. And these are branch currents, chosen arbitrarily like so. I write a KCL equation for node number one. Currents going in, this one, that would be minus the source minus V1 divided by this impedance, that is the current entry node number one. And that is equal to the current in this branch, V1 over three, V1 over three, plus the current in this one, which is V1, plus the value of this source, plus three divided by this in pins. Like so. We have an equation and we, we've, we can find V1 in the Laplace domain. Let's do that. 
I have entered the equation but using x instead of the Laplace domain variable s and I am about to solve for v1, linear solver. That is v1 in the Laplace domain. Let me copy that down. v1 is negative 751 divided by 25s plus 8750. But that is not the voltage we want. That is just the voltage of this node with respect to the reference. The voltage we need is the voltage in the capacitor. In this voltage, from here to there, that is the voltage in the capacitor. That is the voltage in this capacitor, this one. How do I find that? Hmm. I use a voltage divider. Yes. That is a possibility. Right? So I find the voltage here and then I subtract this one. But that is complicated. Right? How about if I just find this current and then subtract this voltage minus three times that current. That is minus this drop. And that gives me the voltage in the capacitor. And that is what I'm about to do. Let me find this current, which is this term over here. That is that current. Let me compute that in the calculator. Let me do it by parts. That's V1. Let me add 2816 divided by 100S. 2816 divided by 100 times S, which is X in our combination. Enter and I add those two values together. But that one at the top is a, is a value I'm going to be using several times. So let me pick that, enter, so I have a copy of that V1 over there. I add these two together. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to buy that by, I'm going to divide that by, let me create another expression. Let me divide that by 3 plus 1200 divided by S, which is X in our case. That one, divide. That is the current. Mm -hmm. and by that current looks convoluted, so I ask Eval to simplify. That, that is the current in the capacitor. If I multiply that current, times this resistor and subtract that from V1, I should get Vc. That current, enter, 3, multiply, subtract from V1, which is at the top, subtract, evaluate. That is the voltage in the capacitor in the Laplace and domain. Let me copy that. And that is the solution to part A the voltage in the capacitor in the Laplace domain. Let's find that voltage as a function of time, which is a solution to part B. I go to the calculator, mode, CIS, make sure that all the flags are cleared. OK, OK. Make sure that X is the Laplace variable. It is. And I ask for the inverse Laplace. This is the voltage in the capacitor as a function of time. In this case, x is t, the independent variable. It is the sum of two exponentials. Let me copy them down. That is the voltage in the capacitor as a function of time, the solution to part b of the question. We still need to plot this one as a function of time between t equals 0 and t equals half a millisecond. Let's do that. To do that, let me push the down arrow and in there I go red, copy, enter, and I go here to the 2D, 3D menu. Push and hold the shift key and in here go to equation, edit, and red and paste enter and enter again and now we go to the windows one push and hold the shift key windows and in here i say i want to plot that between zero and 
point zero 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 five half a millisecond, right? And the vertical axis, I don't know. Automatic compute what you need. Erase what you have. Plot. That is the voltage we're looking for. That is the voltage in the capacitor as a function of time between zero and uh, half a millisecond. We need to find what are values there. Yeah, of course you do. Well, let's find what is the minimum value in the capacitor. And we say the minimum value in the capacitor is negative 28.2 volts. And that happens at 0.177 milliseconds right here. And that is the solution to this exercise. We copy that to the page the best way we can by hand, and we are finished. Thank you very much.